This local sports report is presented by Homewood Suites by Hilton of Cambridge Waterloo, a proud supporter of local sports and the Hespler Shamrocks. Call now to take advantage of Homewood's sport rate offer and receive a discount for your accommodation. Homewood is your home away from home for tournaments and special events. Book your stay now by calling 519-651-2888 or visit cambridgewaterloo.homewoodsuites.com. Sunday afternoon PJHL action from the Hespler Memorial Arena. The Hespler Shamrocks playing host to the league's best, the Woodstock Navy Vets. First period of this one. And just four and change in, it's the home squad getting on the board first. This shot gets through, Braden Tyler is the game opener and right out the gate it's one nothing Hespler now late stages of the first frame still one nothing Hespler that until Ethan Zabo walks in and picks it on the short side Zabo has tied this game all up at one as we head to the second frame and lots of scoring in the second period started off as Cole Dan picks this pass up in the slot he rips it home, and Dan has given Woodstock a 2-1 lead early second. Now a face-off deep inside the Woodstock zone. Off the face-off win, Mitchell Smilski finds Matthew Stika. He tucks it in, and we're all tied back up at two in the second. That tie didn't last long as a minute 30 later. It's the Navy Vets out front. Beautiful backhander, Davin Gray, restores the one-goal lead for the Navy Vets. And just like that, they're back on top three to two. Near the end of the second frame, now Hespler on the power play. They work it around and they find their man out front all alone. Bowden White gets a stick on it. And just like that, we're back to square one. We're all tied up at three after 40 minutes in Hespler. To the third period now we go, still tied at three. That until Michael Boyle Recupero rips one home, wide open in the slot. He gives Hespler the lead as the seesaw game continues. It's 4-3 Shamrocks. Under a minute later, that lead didn't last long as Ryland Warford rips one by the goaltender. Warford has made this a 4-4 hockey game, and once again, we find ourselves tied. A little later after that, Navy Vets on the power play, streaking in on the near side wing. Cole Dan rips home his second of the afternoon. Dan... Beats the goaltender on the short side. He gives Woodstock a 5-4 lead. And that would prove to be the game winner. The Navy Vets survive in Hespler. They take it final 5-4.